Mr. Speaker, I rise today to remember the life and work of Father Patrick Ryan. Father Ryan, pastor of Saints Peter and Paul's Parish in Chattanooga from 1872 to 1878, was a shepherd who gave his life in ministering to his flock. He died a martyr's death in the yellow fever epidemic of 1878 when he was only 33 years old. Perhaps his most notable accomplishment in the Chattanooga community was the opening of Notre Dame Academy under the direction of the Dominican Sisters, which is the oldest private school in the city. The school had been in operation for little more than two years when it had to be converted into a hospital and orphanage because of the terrible yellow fever scourge in the city. Although many people left the city as the disease spread, Father Ryan and Jonathan W. Bachman, pastor of the First Presbyterian Church, were among the 1,800 people remaining in the city. They were good friends, and when Father Ryan was stricken, he was visited by Dr. Bachman. Father Ryan was described by an eyewitness as going from house to house in the worst infected section of the city to find what he could do for the sick and needy. He continued ministering to his flock after he himself had contracted the dreaded disease to within 48 hours of his death. In 1901, when the Chattanooga Council of the Knights of Columbus was organized, it was named the Father Patrick Ryan Council in honor of the priest who, by his high ideals, devotion to duty, his spirit of sacrifice for his congregation and the city, seemed to exemplify the aims and purposes of the new order. Several letters have been written in support of the cause of beautification and canonization of Father Patrick Ryan, including the notorial act of Bishop of Knoxville, the most Reverend Richard Sticka, the letter naming Reverend J. David Carter as Episcopal delegate and promoter of justice for the cause of beautification and canonization, and a letter naming Deacon Gaspar Degatano as a vice postulator for the cause. I believe it is most appropriate to honor a man who sacrificed himself to provide comfort to the people of Chattanooga who were afflicted with the yellow fever so long ago. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I yield back the balance of my time.